Footview is one of my favorite and most used application. This app has several functions like taking screenshots, photo editor, browser, file manager, and much more. The first feature that we will discuss is the ability to take partial screenshot. For example, when you browse internet and suddenly find an interesting image, we can immediately take some screenshot by clicking on the foot view icon, then we slide it to the edge of the part of the image that we will be taken. Wait until the plus sign turns yellow, then we drag it until it covers all the part of the image. After that, we can save it directly or we can edit it first. We can crop the picture. The crop template is not limited to square only. We can choose circle, triangle, star, and love. For example, let's try circle cropper. Tap at the check mark in the middle. We can also add color filters. Let's try gray filter. We can also add text. We can choose the text color. We click the plus sign to add text. We can rotate, set thickness, text style, etc. Then we can also draw freehand. This is to adjust the color and thickness. We can also draw basic object like boxes and circle. Of course, there is also eraser. We can blur the picture. We can add a simple icon. Undo and redo button is located at top right corner. When you finish, press the back button then select save. After that, click save once again to save the photo. We can also directly share the photo we just edited. For example, we can send it via email. One interesting feature is that we can also easily create moving GIF files from video screenshots. Let's try to play a video. We pause the video. Then we take the screenshot. For example, let's try to take this cat face. Then we save it. Capture the next movement. We save again. Let's take the last one. We save. After that, we click three small dots and then choose GIF. Then click the plus sign. After that select the photos that was just taken. We can arrange the order of this animation by click and hold, then slide the picture. We can set the interval as well. If it's done, we click save. Let's see the result. Once completed, we can directly share to social media, email, WhatsApp, etc. Anyway, this application can also be useful to translate short sentences like this. We just select the sentence to be translated. After that, click on this translate icon. As we can see, it will immediately be translated to selected language. This feature will be more optimal if we also install Google Translate application. Now I will show you how to customize the icon. We slide foot view icon upwards. Then tap square lines at the top left. Select settings. We click on float icon. Then we can choose the size of its icon. We can choose bigger or smaller. For example, we choose 140%. We can see the size of the icon becomes bigger. Then in the percentage section we can set how many parts of the icon are visible. For example, if we choose 100%, then the icon will look in perfect round shape. If we choose 30%, then we can only see 30% of the icon. I usually use 90%. We can also set icon transparency. If we set 0%, then the icon will not transparent at all. We can set icon position either at right or left or both. To change icon image, we tap style. We can use our own photo, slideshow, or we can also use GIF animation. Let's try to use the GIF animation that we created earlier.
Loop times is to determine how many the animation will be repeated. Interval is to determine time between loop. For example, if we select 10 seconds, then every 10 seconds, the picture will do 10 time loop. Let's set transparency to 20% so we can see the icon clearer. Let's look for other important settings. We click on the gesture. Here we can set phone action every time we swipe the icon. Not only swipe, we can set action every time we tap, double tap and long press the icon. For example, let's set for double tap action. We set that every time we double tap the icon, the phone will take screenshot. We choose a full screenshot. Let's try to double tap the icon. As you can see, the phone is taking screenshot. To move the icon position, we can click and hold the icon, then swipe to the move or position icon. After that we can slide the icon to change its position. Or you can also click and hold, then with your other finger, tap on the position icon. Now we can slide the icon. Let's check out other features. There is also short guide for basic function. You can follow on screen instruction. Then there is the history that summarizes what you just did using FooView. Then app is a list of installed apps. There is also a file manager to view files stored on the phone. This is internal memory, and this is external memory. There is also a picture viewer to view stored photos, or music, or video, document. There are also weather forecasts. Then there is also news. Then lucky is like fortune cookies. Don't believe it anyway. Then there is a game. Here we need to draw the initial letter of the application that falls down. For example, C is the initial letter of camera application. And so on. Then there is also a remote manager. With this feature, we can see the contents of our phone from the computer. For example, it is written FTP 192.168.0.102.222. Then we open the browser on the computer and then type FTP 192.168.0.102.222. We hit enter, and we can already see the files stored on the Android phone. The requirement to use this feature is that we must be in the same Wi-Fi network. There are also some other features as shown below. If you want to browse internet, you can just click on the search button. We can also use the gesture feature. For example, if we draw G letter, it will show all the things that contain G letter. Or if you do not like the gesture, we can click on this pencil icon, then the keyboard will appear. Let's try to open our website. This is a normal browser that can be used to surf the internet. If you want to open another tab, we click the search button again. For example, this time we open YouTube. To move from one tab to another tab, just click at the square icon at top right corner. It will show all the open tab. Just swipe tab to close it. Now let's try to play some YouTube video. What you need to know is, FooView is actually a floating browser. We can adjust the size by click and hold on the bottom right. Then just slide it to your desired window's size. If you want to move the window position, click and hold the arrow in the top left. With this feature, we can do two jobs or open two applications simultaneously at the same time. To close for view window, just swipe it upwards. To open, swipe it upwards again. 
Actually, I believe there is still many other features that not covered in this video. You can explore those features for yourself. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel for more updates.